Even after a $13 billion settlement, the case is not over. As we reported last night, J.P. Morgan Chase has tentatively agreed to pay the biggest corporate fine ever. The total includes $9 billion in penalties, plus $4 billion in consumer relief, including home loan modifications. But the criminal case continues, and so do other questions. With more now, we're joined by CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Jill, let's talk first about that criminal case. What do you think happens next? Well, I think it's really hard to make criminal cases. That's why no CEO has gone to jail since the whole financial crisis erupted. We've seen a lot of civil suits, but no criminal cases where someone has actually had to go to jail. They're notoriously difficult to bring and to win, so it may be one more case that gets settled, but I don't expect there to be a criminal charge against Jamie Dimon individually or anyone else in that C-suite. A $13 billion settlement, what does that mean for us? You know, I don't think it means that much, I have to say. I know that's disheartening. I mean, there will be some people who get mortgage modifications. That's great. And there'll be a lot of my money that can be poured into that. But for the regular old person out there, if you own J.P. Morgan stock, it doesn't really affect your stock price. It's a deal that's been anticipated for quite some time. And for the rest of us, I don't feel really good about this deal, and I don't think anybody else does. You mentioned Jamie Dimon. What's his future now? Well, a lot of people have been talking about whether he's going to lose his job. I don't see that happening. The board has been very much supportive of him. So have the shareholders. There have been some efforts to try to split his role of CEO and chairman of the board. Those resolutions have actually not passed in the last couple of years. I don't think it will happen again. I think he'll retain the role maybe with an ego slightly diminished, but not by that much. Meanwhile, as banks get squeezed, Wall Street continues to set records. What is happening? The market overall is euphoric about not having gone over the debt ceiling. That doesn't mean that the economy is growing at a sizzling pace, and it doesn't mean that there's lots of jobs forthcoming. So we really want to keep an eye on all that data that's about to come out that we didn't get over the last few weeks. That will probably determine the next leg up in the stock market. Jill, always nice to see you. Thank you. Great to be with you.